Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and Arsenal has recently had a pretty big update. I mean, you can see right here, it's the 2.9.9 update. They have a whole dev forum post about it, but we're going to talk about, you know, all the new changes, and we're going to try to get the two new melee weapons. You can see there's two brand new melee weapons. You know, I love these things, so we're going to try to get the pan and the uh, racket. If Yeah, that's what they're called. And they added a new shotgun and a bunch of assault rifles, as you can see, the AA-12, the L86A3, the XR15, and the FAMAS. And they also added a bunch of new characters. You can see this one's holding a pan, this one's holding the racket. So I guess they're supposed to be for those characters, but I don't really care about character crates or anything. So anyways, you can see they added a bunch of different characters. So you can see from left to right, it's Golf Pro Kyle Chef Chef. I don't know how to say that word. Tennis. <laughs> I think it's Chef. But Tennis Star, Rhino, and Gladiator. And they also added some new taunts, skateboard and arrow stepping. Um, I think taunts are like the, you know, dance things that you do or whatever. One new kill effect called Moderated. And uh, a new map called Villa, as well as a new character from Adopt Me. <laughs> this is like the one thing I would never expect for Arsenal to have an Adopt Me character. It's like the two completely different types of games. And um, they added a bunch of different new stuff, like you could see streamer mode, you disable the chat and the megaphone, um, rampage notifications, I, I guess it's like the m -m -m monster kill, stuff like that. Um, you could see 10 new badges, uh, I'm gonna probably try to get those I guess. And all the unusuals re remade, which we're gonna check out in a second because I have two of them. Um, they're tweaking out some maps, which doesn't really matter. Oh, they buffed the firework launcher. Awesome, because I, I like the firework launcher. Um, this now shows the XP level in the um, end match screen. Um, they redesigned some stuff. You know, it's, it's basic stuff like that. And then they fixed some stuff like the no healing effect UI missing. Um, fixed the badges from the summer update. Uh, fixed the spot in Dust 2. And fixed the MAC-10 missing arm and kill icon. And the most important part of the game, in my opinion. You can see they changed the price of Battle Bucks, which we're going to check out in-game. So we're not really going to talk about it here. You see they changed the VIP pass, which uh, basically they removed the 1.5 times bonus for your Battle Bucks. And they reduced the price to 4.95. But I believe, yeah, right here. If you bought the VIP pass before the change, this does not affect you. You will keep it, as well as all the items with the pass. So... I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm happy I get to keep the 1.5 times. And um, the previous game pass has been taken off sale and a new one's placed. And the starter pack has been brought back. We're going to talk about that in-game because, again, it's a pop-up in-game. So let's go in-game, like I said. You can see this is different from the effect I had before on my character. I forget what the effect actually looked like before this change, but I can say this looks a lot better than it was before. And then the operative with the sunbeams, they changed this. I remember it used to be like one like sun beam that's it this looks a lot better and a lot cleaner so if this is what all of them are looking like i'm happy but we're gonna talk about the important stuff here first of all the starter pack which you can see is now 95 you can see it now gives a bonus character and flare crate as well as an exclusive skin and i don't think it gives any battle bucks for 95 robux that's pretty good and then if we go to buy um some battle bucks you could come over here and check it out you could see they changed the entire page in general, and you can see the prices are completely different. Like, for less than 5,000 Robux now, you could get 60,000 bucks, which is pretty good. You can see right here, it says, could buy 50 character cases, or cases. And uh, let me just see. So yeah, this is half, so you could just multiply by two. So today we're going to be opening eight, because that's all I have the money for. Um, you know what? We could do ten, if I have enough. Yeah, we, we have enough to open ten flare case flare case it's probably more because i forgot we get uh you know 300 back every time because all we're gonna get in this entire opening is duplicates <gasps> okay dude that freaked me out <laughs> oh my god i i thought i, I thought this was a new character because again you know this isn't the old you know thing and i thought i got a brand new uh um what's it called unusual character and i was so hyped for a second and i'm like oh but you can see it says buy another over here. Like you can see, you can just buy another if you want. I hate how it doesn't say unusual anymore um, when it says like legendary 10. Let me see. Oh yeah, I forgot. Character cases are the ones with the new... They changed the chance of getting unusuals. It's from 1% to 2 now. Uh, we're, we're gonna... I'm gonna get some Robux soon to... 
We did it. We got a pan. <laughs> I knew we were gonna. I knew we were gonna get one of these in melees at least. But we got the pan, and I, I'm pretty happy. You see, we got we got the pan. You know, you get to whack people with the pan. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy we got the pan. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna have another character opening soon. Now that we have a two percent chance, I might go crazy and open a ton of them. But let's go. Let's open some more flare crates. <gasps> Back to back brand new melee weapons. You know, there's not really a point in opening more flare crates now that we have all the stuff. I mean, we are missing the two new emotes, I think it is, but other than that, we're not missing anything at all. So I think we're going to just spend the rest of the money on character crates. So let's do it. Let's see what we get. We got Chef. We got Chef. Okay. So I forgot that. Uh, wait, can I? <gasps> wow. I can actually change the color like that. That's pretty cool. But um, what's it called? I, I hate how they added new characters, so now it's going to eat up all my money instead of giving me duplicates and taking half my money. Let's see. Okay, we got a duplicate. Because you can see when the money changes, you can see if you get um, charged 600 or whatever. We already got another Kyle. We got two Kyles back to back. Uh, I think this is a brand new character. Yeah, we got Rhino. Okay, so <laughs> we'll open one last flare crate just in case. J just, just to end it on a happy note. And we didn't even get the moderated effect, I just realized. We got Decapitate. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to, uh, you know, open the new cases, check out the new stuff in Arsenal. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Can't believe we got both of the new melees back to back. And we have two Karambas. That's pretty cool, too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye.